So welcome back everyone, Triple M here, and today we're doing a quick video just to push Shield Experience 9.0.2. Now, if you're someone who owns the NVIDIA Shield that recently upgraded to 9.0 or 9.0.1, chances are there are a couple issues that you ran into that may not be addressed as of yet. So this upgrade should fix a lot of those issues. I am gonna get into that here in a little bit, but most importantly, towards the end of this video, I am gonna let you guys know of some new issues that are starting to pop up after pushing 9.0.2. So definitely watch the entire video. Definitely don't upgrade until you watch this video in its entirety. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell. Let's go. All right, so before we uh, jump into the details of the upgrade, I wanted to show you guys how to get to the upgrade if you don't see a banner on your NVIDIA Shield. So mine did have the banner initially, uh, but once you click on it, it will go away. So if you don't see a banner, if you go to your settings, you're gonna go to device preferences, about, system upgrade. And before you uh, click on check for upgrade, there is an auto update option that's right here, guys. And definitely recommend turning that off. If you do not have it off, chances are the Shield will upgrade without you knowing. And if there are issues with that upgrade, it will just be now on your shield and there's no real way to get back. So definitely turn that off, control when your system updates, and then you can go ahead and decide if you wanna update or not. So mine's turned off. Let's go ahead and check for upgrades. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and check for upgrade now. And you can see Shield Experience 9.0.2. So before we download and install it, let's go and see what's new. All right, so what's new in 9.0.2? So this patch is released to NVIDIA Shield 9.0.1, so added enhancements and resolving issues including adds notification when connecting or formatting removable disk, fix AI upscaling bug in Netflix, um, Shield 2019 only. So that's the new NVIDIA Shield. Uh, just to let you guys know, I am running the 2017 Shield currently. I do have a 2019 Shield, the cone version, in uh, another room, but um, this, only applies to the 2019 Shield. Improves file transfer speeds, resolve pairing issues with your DualShock 3, that's your PlayStation controller, your Xbox One X, Xbox Series S and X, and your Switch Pro controller. So improve connection issues. So in the comments, let me know if you're someone who actually uses those controllers on NVIDIA Shield, and let me know if you are experiencing issues and if this uh, patch fixes it. Resolve crashing issue with Google Play games on 2015 and 2017 Shield TV. So this one applies to the Shield TV. Fixes issues streaming to Twitch and NVIDIA Share. Resolve issue while using DVR on channels app. All right, fixes select button detection issue on the mouse toggle application. So those are the issues that are uh, upgraded in 9.0.2. Of course, that's a patch to 9.0.1. And of course, we know that when 9.0 was released, that was the big upgrade uh, to Android 11 on NVIDIA Shield. So I'm not gonna get too much into it. Don't wanna make this video too long. So let's go back. And what I wanna do now is uh, basically just download and install. The reason I, I do these videos is to really see if I can catch any of those issues when they first uh, appear. That way, if you guys are on the fence with upgrading, you don't have to after watching this video. So what I'm gonna do, I am gonna uh, fast forward this video, but I'll come back when the installation is done. All right, so the upgrade has been completed, so let's go back. One thing to keep in mind is that after you upgrade Give it a couple minutes. If you just rush into your applications, the system is still processing some of those updates. So it might seem buggy, but give it a couple minutes, see what's going on, and then um, feel free to check out everything. So before we get into what this major issue is that this upgrade actually breaks, let's go ahead and just verify that we are on the proper version. So we're gonna go to our settings. And you guys can see it is running a little bit slow, but right now I'm just checking my settings. I'm gonna go to my device preferences. About. And we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom. I am gonna blur some of this out. All right, so at the bottom you can see the Shield Android TV software version is 9.0.2. And um, in uh, parentheses, it has 33.1.0.319. So what 
did they actually break? And I haven't verified this yet. I am doing this pretty live, but I'm just looking at the forums, looking at the comments, YouTube, YouTube TV seems not to be working and I do have YouTube here. So let's go ahead and check it out. Let me just read some of the comments that I was um, referring to. So someone said I can no longer sign into my account in YouTube, uh, that's an application. Um, someone else said, someone say yes, I'm getting YouTube, can't connect to the internet. So I cleared YouTube cache data now, can't log in to YouTube, still getting the YouTube error. Uh, someone else said same here YouTube app no longer works. So let's launch it and see what happens All right, so look like it's loading for the most part All right, seem like it's still loading um, so notification up top just say new videos will preview with sound while you browse. So we'll dismiss that. You guys can see there I am signed in. Let me just go ahead and see if I can play a video. Yo, All right. So for the most part, look like that's working. Let me play it and skip the ab and just make sure I get to the video. All right, so you guys can see there for me, the YouTube application is working. Let me go ahead and we'll kill it. And let me launch it again. All right, so same thing there. So one other thing I wanted to do, and some people are saying that after they had an issue, they cleared the cache and they couldn't log in. So let me go back up again. I'm gonna go to my apps. I'm gonna go down to YouTube, do a long press. I'm gonna go to info and let me just force stop it click OK there and I'm gonna go ahead and just um, clear the data and that should essentially wipe out my account um, so let's go ahead and relaunch it and we'll kind of see if we can sign back in all right so it is referring to which email I want to use so I am gonna click on triple M All right, and for the most part, look like I'm back in. Um, so for me at least, guys, I am not experiencing that issue. Uh, just for anyone that's having the issue, please list which NVIDIA Shield are you using. Remember that this is the 2017 Shield that I'm using, it's not the Pro. This is a regular 2017 Shield and upgrade went through fine. And I will continue to check out those, those fixes, see if I experience anything. Guys, please help each other out in the comments. If you have any issues, if you actually went through with this upgrade, any experience issues, drop it in the comments. Uh, that way we can know which device you're using and what issue you're experiencing. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.